wanting to do some secondhand like uh, thrift uh, shopping in Germany I have yet to do it we're going to a kind of a thrift slash like antique shop I guess let me know if there are some standard German thrift shops throughout the country because that's kind of interesting in Norway we actually have like a standard or at least one standard that's like everywhere I was always into like old things and oh actually <laughs> you know it really depends on what style you have but for example this one my husband found in Norway at the thrift shop and it's so cute I just think it's so nice to find things that not everybody has you know because it's like old things so they're more rare I guess buttery milk no it's not buttery milk Müller milch banana milk I guess cheers are you going to stay home and watch the house? <laughs> Did we forget something? Oh, love? Are you coming? <laughs>
the horse is so creepy. pretty good but I think I prefer the milk chocolate because somehow I feel like I can taste the German milk <laughs> or I feel like the German milk has kind of a weird flavor sometimes but it's still good what I meant earlier with the German milk it's not maybe because it's German but because I think they, when it's the halt bar milk, which they kind of put them through a procedure, I think that maybe they taste different. So the fresh milk tastes different than the halt bar, the room temperature milk, probably. Maybe that's why it tastes like a by taste or something. I don't know. I will show you guys what I bought. I barely, or <laughs> okay, so we barely bought anything, but you know, I'm, there's just a few things that stick out to me and I just have to get it. So first thing <laughs> was this cute box <laughs> with like a lighthouse on it and a boat. I don't know what to, I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but it just looks so cute. And of course, when I see these cute bubbles, I just have to get them because they are just so cute. And this one was pretty like... Uh, I would say unique and now I can add it to my little collection because now I have <laughs> three bubbles. <Woo. laughs> uh, I always loved bubbles since I was a kid and they look so cute. Okay, so the thrift shop was so, so much bigger than we expected. It was like many, many floors up with like tons and tons of stuff. We didn't have time to look at all the stuff, but we probably will go there again. But yeah, it was actually a very nice experience. They had many cool things. Also a few creepy things. <laughs> but uh, all in all, it was very cool. So I will put the uh, like, uh, shop in the description if you want to check it out. Thank you. 
when I went to the grocery store yesterday or something, I bought like a Birne soft. It's like a pear juice and of course some other stuff. And then <laughs> the cashier, she asked me like uh, so serious and she pointed to the Birne soft and she said, Was machst du damit? Which means like, uh, like a, I, I didn't understand at first because I thought, hmm, is she really asking me like what I'm going to do with that juice? <laughs> so I was like, what? And then she said it again and I was so serious, like, and I just said, uh, I said, zum uh, trinken or trinken. <laughs> it was so awkward. It was like people in line and stuff. <laughs> and I just don't understand like why she would ask me what I'm going to do with the juice. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to like make conversation. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Oh, that was kind of weird, strange, but yeah. Oh, and we're also soon at the 600 subscribers, which girl, thank you for watching and subscribing. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have a very good day today and I will see you guys soon again. Bye.